Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie Chirono. I am a beauty and lifestyle content creator. I am a professional makeup artist and I'm a mental health advocate. I am here with the one and only my coffee and juice. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Stephanie Nganga. I'm also a digital content creator and Steph's friend and namesake and sister in Christ. Ah. Period. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. so we are here to answer a few of the questions while doing our makeup and because we are a little bit chaotic, we have to start the video with a shot. A little shorty shorty. A little shorty shorty. For the shorties. Cheers, the my sister. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, let's go. Why are you giving me the side eye? <laughs> and it's funny because I actually did a video about this. I didn't even know like it was an actual See, phenomenon or yeah. like people feel a type of way. Dating people in the public space. Really they're just normal people, but anyways. For me, let's just say I am should I say blessed? <laughs> or at least I'm lucky to have a partner that that wasn't even like a conversation. And when we started dating at the time, I wasn't, I hadn't reached where I was now. Where you are so now. I can't, I, I don't know. I, for me, it's been a smooth and seamless experience, though I am very much aware that people, you know, they, they always have some type of, should I say like fear or like reservations about dating creators. But for me, we're like I'm good child. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about y'all. Y'all be easy, but one thing about me, I'm lucky. I'm lucky now. Steph, you, you should tell us, no? Are you okay. Josh. Oh. Um <laughs> I just feel like sometimes maybe not only are you scared, sometimes people approach you for the wrong reasons. Oh for sure. For clout. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds for like I was with Stephanie so and so, I was mm. with Boo. Like as a way to like boast mm. and like I don't know get something to talk about. Yeah. Um, so that has led me to almost try and lean towards people who are not in the public space mm. when it comes to dating. Yeah. If you have an eight to five, perfect. Even if you don't have social media, that's even the best. That's the best. That's top zero yeah. followers. Any zero. I want to pick a picture. That's the best. No, I hear that's you. That's me. But. You know, also you never know. Sometimes you can even find, but I don't think I can sit down with my partner and be like, guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Never. Really? Never. No. You no. want to be like Issa Rae. You drop for us yeah. marriage pictures. Just don't go, hi, I got married. That's, That's it. it. Take yeah. it, you know, do with that information yeah, what you will. what you will, but otherwise I'm not going to, you're not going to, no, 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 no. But it's quite unfortunate because I think people forget creators are still humans. Yeah, we have lives outside of creating content. Like that's not it's not like a personality trait, you know? Auntie, so I am ambitious, I'm a content creator and I'm yeah. patient. Yeah. You know? You no, know? No, 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 no. For my foundation, I'm because me I'm already in foundation. <laughs> I'm using the Bond This Way to Face Foundation. You're a, you're a what? I shadow last. Yeah, I that's shadow and wild. browse last. That's wild. Kitamba used to do brows fast, but yeah, then I think this is faster. That's chaotic. <laughs> that's really chaotic. Actually, that's psychotic. Because people, I respect people who do their I shadow last because of fallout. I'm just like, how? So we'll put like powder out, and stuff. If you can, if you can balance it out, then you're a pro. Next question. Let me start. So I did a reel. <laughs> I did a reel the other day. Mm -hmm. It was one of those makeup hacks. <clears throat> 
the first time I did a makeup pack, I saw it did well. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get into doing makeup, makeup packs yeah. because I think maybe not everybody's like for the full, you know, glam and everything. People yeah. just want a tip, one, one and done and they're out. Yeah. And then it did well. And like like it, 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 it did well and I posted it and then like weeks later it now started doing like well you know how like you can post it and then it gets traction later yeah please tell and now you can even tell the accounts are from like other <laughs> countries <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> because please tell me why and I'll even show you like maybe later we can insert a screenshot of the number of comments that are just like it's not even a bad comment but it just got me thinking I like it's not Funny, even that deep up? The number of men who are like, oh, you wear so much makeup. Actually, actually, I look better natural, you know. Oh, yes, no. And then now there were the babes that are like, oh, why are you 12 on this internet? I said, 12? 12? Honey, I got titties and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest titties for that. So. Yeah, I'm going to see the video the beauty hot fudge foundation so for me it's always been a thing of why come to someone's page and tell them how much makeup they should you think i don't know that and if anything yeah. it's not even a lot let me tell you people use a lot we're not gonna get to that later yes so oh, we know them. We that's know that's them. the most common or people telling me also about like age i should not have to come to this center to justify how old i am you know that's so. why for the longest time i never talked about my age on social media i still don't yeah because if you want to assume that I'm 28, that's fine. <laughs> if you want to assume I'm, I'm that, that eh? <laughs> that's fine. It's a free world. But the minute I say my age like this, it's now, oh my God. Again, it's like, it's just like a personality trait. I'm just like, me, I'm not going to tell you my age. Stephanie Turner, and she's doing something. Like, and then, get out. You know? Yeah, just, just. So, oh yeah. God. Yeah. Um, Personally, I don't necessarily, first of all, me, I don't even like people because I don't let people get to me like that when it comes to makeup because makeup is not a hobby for me yeah makeup is my livelihood yeah like that's how i make my money so the fact that i'm still able to get clients to this day it only validates the fact that maybe i am actually good yeah so if you want to say something about my makeup that's fine but um I, it will not get to me mm. because your opinion generally doesn't matter mm. yeah whose phone is that jehovah it's mine no, that cannot be who I think it is. No, I'm not answering. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Stephanie Chiron. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I, if I can't speak my job, stop it. Yeah, so I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, and you know, I realize that the more I don't focus on hate comments, the less I've gotten them. Yeah. yeah I just don't pay them uh, attention, pay attention to them or pay them any mind. I'm just like, oh, we're in the lab. To it is what a lot about you, so yeah. go ahead. Honey, if it makes you sleep at night, if it your bakes thing. your potatoes, Good. if it puts you to sleep, that's nice. If it rocks your boat, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. But otherwise, I'm not. I'm not there to validate anyone or anything. Yeah. I think the internet is a space where people are allowed to create content and show their talents, mm. market, or you know. Yeah. Whatever you want to do with the internet, because the page is yours. It's not related to furniture, not furniture, and all the other stuff is on earth. Yeah. So whatever you want to do with it, do yeah. it. I mean, not Korea, we are trying. How did we actually meet? Because I'm trying to remember it's when we actually event. started speaking. But when when did we actually start speaking? Yeah, I think I was just hyping you up on socials for the longest time. And me, I was like your biggest star. I'll probably yeah. have met you and be like... <sighs> actually, it's not probably the first time we met. Yeah. Did you act like that? Yeah, I was like, oh my God. And then I'm like, <laughs> my baby, you don't know what I feel about you. Every just let me get my shine. I'm just like, babe, and you... <laughs> So I was like, ah, anyway, this girl is vibes me like that. Yeah. Uh, and we just started talking. And, yeah. and and I think the reason why we even ended up pursuing the friendship is because the first initial reaction and, and meeting and yeah. conversation and the energy, it was just right. And it was natural. Yeah. Not and then now we became those girls, girls who yeah. come to events because we're the ones who are gonna kill it. I mean somebody had to do it. You know it was never gonna be easy. Yeah. But somebody had to do it. And it had to be us. Unfortunately. The Stephanie. Yeah. Squared. Squared. <laughs> we should have like a joint trade card, yeah. no? For it's events like, and appearances. Like, yeah, I'm just like, meet and greet. Yeah. <laughs> in Dawn. Oh, like, in Dawn. Do you remember the uncover event? Hey, it was late. We even removed our shoes. Did you? Nobody remember when we broke the glass. <laughs> First of all, you <laughs> broke the glass. I don't know. No, let me tell you, friends. Uh, 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 so we don't get it twisted. I I'll tell it now. So Steph was holding a wine glass, very loosely, if I say. And then I was just, you know, busting my mood, you know, busting And then, rah, we just had 
The way that first of all that glass first was being so loud. Both stand, it's like it's not us who did it. You got to like mom, so you quite accountability. It's you. No. Because it's Stephanie all of us are here turning like it's both of us who broke the glass. But anyway, you like But I remember asking so should I pay for the glass and they were like no 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 I said it's okay, okay. it's okay it's okay it's okay it's fine it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> But that glass was so loud considering there was music being played and, everyone and then the turned. music went off and it was paragasha 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 <laughs> after to be ngi hapo na na my heels set ko migutupu Hey, and then we are lit, lit like nonsense. We were lit. Lit cash shit. Lit cash shit. Hey, we were lit. But it was good times. Good, was good times. times. Great times. Great times. You should actually invite us to your events. Yeah. We we'll, we 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 our managers shall send, shall shall respond with our joint rate card, you know. This economy in Dallas can't be doing things for free. We can't. At this time. To now I hype with Jaden's economy. Too. Not hey, possible. Jaden another to my Lisa. Hey, that's not my question. That would have semen. <laughs> I for one will admit I'm I'm an impulse buyer. Same. My 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 purchases are very much attached to emotion. Same. I'm feeling sad cake. Shit, same. I'm happy cake. You see why we are friends? At least I need some boy to see na pesa. I'm just like I just me call like KFC. Bro, you think me I care? Yeah. I'm just like ah ohala later please don't stop me right now. I want cake. Count salted caramel from at cafe. The rest of the Same. Be- yes. Yeah. At cafe you sing this. Do your thing. Do your Thing. Wink, wink. Yeah, so yeah, I'm m- trying my best now. Like I got a life coach recently who's trying mm-hmm. to help me manage my finances. Tell us like, about that. So we've just started a life coach. That's interesting, no? Yeah, a life coach. Cause you know the thing about it is, and it wasn't even something that I was planning to get. I mm-hmm. wasn't trying to like get a life coach, but yeah. um, I interacted with her because she's a sister to my client. Yeah, and her mind was just mind blowing literally, yeah. and. I didn't pay much attention to it but it got to a point where I was constantly just thinking about her and like trying to I really wanted to pick her brain and mm. find out what type of person she is. Mm-hmm. And when we met I was just like can you just I was doing her makeup for her birthday and I was like yeah. yo I did her makeup in my we were sitting there like a makeup was like at 2 mm-hmm. finish at maybe like three. I was there till 7 yeah. just talking and yeah. I was like and chatting. And I was like you should try and get into life coaching. She's like I'm actually just getting into it. I'm trying to train myself. I was like okay, it's going to be my life coach and that's just how it began. Mm-hmm. Then I went to do my came back and we now opened an excel sheet mm. that will help me yeah decipher my finances and just figure out where my money is going mm. i'm not necessarily like pumped about it because mm. that means that i have to not just be cautious yeah but at the same time about your spending i usually look at my investor statements and i'm like i make this money <laughs> you know it's a tweet something about if you don't check your account you'll be fine, you'll be but, fine. but if you do if you do contact the investor statement 07 you just like get out yeah just get out And for me though this is like on another tangent but still in the same you know I used to have such a bad relationship with how I used to value growth especially when it comes to content yeah. I'd be like my numbers are growing or my engagement is growing mm-hmm. but maybe you're not seeing that translate into like account money. on money yeah. and then I would beat myself up about it I get you so even for me for a long time You know you you're just like oh baby then but and you know me I, I get the whole compliments and everything that yeah. comes socially but I'm like the compliments are not complimenting my bank account Th- they're not paying my bills yeah. they're not keeping the lights on yeah so not that me like kwagiza ni kiriplay zi comments on I'm Jewy Okay girl I'm just here thank you thank you thank you thank you and Agali is suffering No I hear you Yeah so I think because I started again I told you about that whole prayer thing Yeah I started not being more intentional and writing down my goals and what I want and mm. that's another thing that my life coach was really emphasizing that you should mm-hmm. write things down if you can yeah. if, you have a, if you have like a hard time mm. praying about things Yeah write them down It's true. I actually even got myself like a proper planner. I'm for you, baby. <laughs> no, I got myself a proper planner. I'm proud of you. And especially because my sister, Wairimo, shout out to Wairimo by the way. She's very much like she's 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 Organized. a really good writer. Yeah. And if there's anything I've learned from her, even when it comes to like manifestation, there's power in writing. There is. Like we can say a things from here till Timbuktu. 
the mm. minute you write it yeah and you even read it yeah you know, like one yeah. of the things like when i woke up today morning i wrote the things that i'm good for which you are part of the list I even read to Josh. No. He's because I was like, I'm definitely die, guys. I I did write and I was like, I'm yeah. grateful for people in my life who number one are like very appreciative of my presence in their lives. Oh, we find out. I don't I'm think about I will cry. <laughs> the tiniest of me? inconveniences. One thing about me and it's floods. I'll cry. Yeah. It's just it's my brand. <laughs> it's like it's, it's just not and everything. everything. No, it's not really legit. <laughs> so and that's another thing that yeah. um and you know, I was even reading on I saw Lydia KM talking about this. Yeah. That the one thing that tends to open doors for people is a heart of gratitude. Yeah. When you're grateful about everything even if you just have a roof over your head. Yeah. It just tends to open doors for my many other things. Yeah. As opposed to you're sitting down complaining or couple quad you are gone. Mm. <laughs> I will never tell you anything. Kwa kwa jiwa kwa na unalia. Na kuna mtu hata matatu ngumu kupanda. I feel like that is also something that helps a lot. Yeah. yeah. So your mindset and perspective. But really I think when it comes to finances if you can be able to get help and doesn't even have to be at it. the like something at, at 100,000 you know, you're paying someone mm, 100,000 just for someone who handles money better than you do. Yeah. Yeah. And talk about it with your friends because I think we are all going through the same thing. Yeah. But then people are afraid to share because of like judgment and everything. Yeah, and and I th- comparison. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think talk if, about it. Mm-hmm. It, it goes a long a, way. Yeah, you find a middle ground for sure. I'm a Virgo. September 9th. Like we can't tell. <laughs> Shut up, Chinese. I am an- yapa, 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 yapa. Oh, your mouth is moving. Your mouth is moving like a rat. Like a rat. Shut us, please. Um, Shots I'm an Aquarius. 31st January. Send them pesa. Ilisha pita mama. Yeah. <laughs> Next Actually, year. Actually, we're not about to move in pesa. All right. Thank don't you. worry about it. You sending me. Don't in worry about it. I got you. No, I got you. <laughs> Whatever you want. Hey, you're not going to make you want good. <laughs> you never let that go <laughs> now. <laughs> okay, continue. Mm-hmm. Oh, Steph, tell us. Of course I would. W- would it be like face products like, you know? I feel like because I'm very big on eyes. Yeah. Definitely eyes with the will probably be the the first few products that are launched, but also who god knows what mm. I can say I can say I want eyes kidogo and be aya. We are lacking in the foundation aspects like give us uh, range please give us range mm. give us longevity mm. who knows but definitely it's one of the things that I do dream about every single day That's just really nice Very fashion idea. line mama <laughs> sorry <laughs> 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 um for me it's actually funny because I had for the longest time I wanted to start a lash brand and baby I started looking for vendors and all of that and then I, life happened so I don't know if I'll ever pick that up I feel like you should sometimes I'm so afraid of stepping into that market because Kenya is also very a very skeptical market they are but at yeah. the same time you know one thing that I do believe mm-hmm. you have your people yeah your people will buy will will support you your people will they will show up for you yeah because I remember when I started doing makeup which I mentioned earlier in my previous video mm-hmm. that I used to charge 500 shillings for makeup at some point damn Imagine, Mama. No, I, you know, I, I had that, babe, and I was like, "Babe, five hundred nini ni sai?" At a yega, I have one hundred bomb babe, in my I pocket. Have a <laughs> in I have my a pocket. pocket. Yeah. So the fact that I'm going to a point where I do don't I don't charge five hundred anymore, and I yeah. can get people to yeah do makeup on, and even mm. book, book me to go outside the country. I'm just yeah. like the people will make themselves <laughs> but available. But can busy, yeah. I'm actually not booked and busy but I have my people yeah. because this whole phenomenon of just trying to look like every single day you're just up and down let's talk is about also, it is also not healthy because yeah. at the same time we don't operate on oil we are yeah. human beings mm. we need rest yeah and if at all that means that you will rest two three days in a week mm-hmm. to make money during the weekend yeah Oof, do it man yeah. your your life is your life yeah. your reality is your reality you don't have to conform to anyone or anything then the gentleman step on it your own Actually I feel like it's a question to both of us because I don't have straight teeth either. 
Uh, but you're still cute though, no? So yes, you. you are. Yes, you are. So I mean, are you. Somebody had to do it. But yes, I have been, and I think immediately after I left high school, I was like, yeah, I want to get braces. I want to close this shit up. But then I think I stopped letting it, like, again, it's not Body, a personality yeah. trait, you know. Jesus. Like, hi, I'm Stephanie, and I have a manya. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect you know. it. <laughs> 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 not to be But yes, I've been insecure about it, but I think... I think just like any other insecurity, you don't necessarily get rid, but you get through it, you know. Yeah. So yeah, yes, I have, but I love it nonetheless. Don't and, get and it twisted. And I'm, I think the one thing that I've always told her, like you don't have pictures where you're not smiling. I'm such a smiling you're person. Always smiling. So even I always talk that, like it's always <laughs> the the makeup trail is just. <laughs> yeah, someone told me that just phrase. Always. The product will actually enter my yeah, mouth. Yeah, all the time you're just smiling. So I don't think it bothers you. Even if it might have at some point, yeah. it really doesn't look like it does. Yeah. And that's great. I'm sure that inspires a lot of people. Thank you to the Manya babes. Yeah. <laughs> Representing in the in a D254. <laughs> I'm about to say Wambatango. 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 I was gonna ask the same thing. Yeah, but um, in 2017, mm-hmm. beginning of 2017, around July, I stepped into a Mac store. That's why I do believe in manifestation. Right? Yeah. I stepped into a wax Mac store with a friend of mine because we were going, an ex friend, mm-hmm. we, <laughs> we were going for a trip. Yeah. And we we're like, ah, let's just go buy a calypse stick, whatever, whatever. Mm. And that time, and that time Ruby Woo was Ruby Woo, which she still is. But yeah. That's what we were going to get with our small, small monies. Mm. So I stepped into the store and I met my manager. She mm-hmm. wasn't a manager at the time, she was a retail artist. Mm-hmm. And shout out to Sally. And she helped us find our, mas- uh, our nini, our Ruby Woo, nini nini. nini. Mm-hmm. And then I was just like, one day I'm gonna work here. Yeah. And I didn't think much about it. Really? Yeah. From that very first that day? Yeah, that was the first time I ever stepped into a Maxwell. I'd never stepped yeah. into a Maxwell before. Okay. And I said, I'm, one day I'm gonna work here. I went for a trip, we were mm-hmm. going to Diniani, went for a trip, came back. With your ruby, whoa! With my ruby, hey, we were killing it. I think we had lost it, while I, after suffering, we suffered for nine hundred years. Nine hundred years. Mm-hmm. So, went to the went to for the trip, came back. That was in July. Mm-hmm. So July, August, end of August, going towards September, mm-hmm. there was an opening. There was like an ad mm-hmm. uh, they put on the Linton's page because yeah. Mark is under Linton's. Yeah. And they were like, oh, we're looking for retail artists, nini, nini. And then my friend is almost sent it to me. She's like, babe, you send your pictures because that's yeah. all they wanted just and i've never i had never made a cv before so i even yeah. had to google how to mm-hmm. make a cv and yeah. all those things mm-hmm. and i sent it when i sent it i believe that it bounced back because i kept on getting that thing for or oh, email address system something mm. something so it's like ah anyway the period is not meant for me yeah and then i received a call and mm-hmm. they were like um we already been we've been looking for you mm. because we've been seeing you on social media. At that time, I probably had like 2,000 or 1,500 followers or something. Yeah. It wasn't even that serious. Mm-hmm. And they were like, we've been looking, we saw your, we saw your address. So apparently they had been delivered, but on my end, it's not like, I, it's mm. not the same. I don't know what issue that was. Yeah. And I went for an interview. The first interview was a practical. I did mm-hmm. the practical. I did makeup on someone else. Someone else did makeup on me. We were rated. I went to the next step. Mm-hmm. They did like a sit down interview. And then the next thing I was called and I was employed. That's it. And I sat down in the max for the first day and I was like, oh shit, I spoke this thing to me. Yeah. yeah. Literally two months ago. Like, how cool is that? That's, that's wild. Yeah. So that's when I started now actually believing in speaking life into my own life. Mm. And whatever I want, I can actually easily have Get it. it. Yeah. And claim it. Yeah, and that's, that's just how I got it. I do believe that they still post uh, vacancies and like job application stuff on their page so maybe yeah. if you want to work for mac maybe you can just be looking out at the linton's page mm. um because i think that's where all those things happen yeah but at the same time if it's something that you really do want write it down and it will come to you period enough said yeah <laughs> Um, I think for me, Kitambo, I really was uh, 
uh, what can I say? Mm-hmm. I was in the I was in the bandwagon of like baking, you know, setting. Yeah, yeah, like I was baking, like my life depended on it, and so I think like right now there are so many tips and like tricks. So for one, if you want to have like that airbrushed look, either you can use the, what are they called, like the makeup puff, and you just like set, and you don't need that much product, but they are little, actually goes a long way. So let's, I'm, I'm not really for the baking community. <laughs> we just set, and we keep it pushing. So that, I think that's what I would say. Also, I think um, if you try and like hydrate your face with like setting spray, especially if you have like dry skin, because yeah. if you have dry skin and then you bake, everything just looks, French. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it really is the end for you. So yeah, that's what I would say. Do you know what I mean? I would also say you try and use. Uh, um, if at all you're going to go for with a light concealer, try use it in small amounts. Yeah. And if you're like very minimal when it comes to highlighting, then use a concealer that is very close to your skin tone. Yeah. If it if it's not close to your skin tone, then maybe a shade lighter mm. shade or two lighter but anything above that like if i'm using a concealer shade that is like the, our tops yeah of course <laughs> flashback is inevitable yeah and also again what stephanie said about baking when you let the powder sit there for a while it will definitely be noticeable even without the flash yeah it's something that can easily be seen yeah so less baking less product and stick within your undertone and your shade range as well I mean, okay, I, I, I'll speak for myself. I don't know about my sister here. I don't know if I would like, I have like, we have both achieved like milestones. So we are, sure. we, are, we are on the road to success. You know, success wants us. You know how, what's her name? Bonan. Yeah, she says money wants, how many calls her, what, all of that. Even, even, can you? Can you bow? <laughs> success wants us. It money looks for wants us. Me. You know, it looks for us. And it will find us. It but it, 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 it does feel great, especially when you see this in Steph's previous video. It feels so good, especially when your work is very much, or your productivity is very much tied to how you feel and everything. It, I won't lie, it feels great to be validated. Yeah. I know a lot of the times people are gonna tell you on social media, oh, you know, I'm telling you, it feels great. And it feels nice to know that people recognize your work. So yeah, it, it feels great. It's very fulfilling because when we do this, it comes from a place of like passion, you know? Exactly. And we derive so much joy and fulfillment from it. Yeah. So it feels great. Yeah. yeah. I would say that um, because we are very keen on celebrating the small wins as well, mm. then of course we're going to make a big deal out of it. And make Biggest it look deal. Like, <laughs> make it look like to <laughs> 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 You know, I will actually buy a Jiwagon on this note. Because Again, it's always <laughs> progress over perfection, yeah. to be honest. You, the sm- when you And again, back to the gratitude. If you're always grateful about the smallest things, the biggest things will come to you very easily. Amen. Yeah, so it may look like we've achieved the most, but trust you, we we're not halfway to where we want to be. Yeah. But at the same time, we're not overlooking the fact that we've come from far. Eh. <laughs> to me talk in Bali. Bali. When I look at my Google Drive, I'm just like, wahala, wahala. <laughs> this one's we're taking to the grave. <laughs> I'm just like, I can't even post that. I can show us your makeup before. I can't throw back. I don't know drama, please. <laughs> we, just leave me alone. I'm at peace. <laughs> As we only move forward. Yeah, yeah. backward never. Forward <laughs> ever. Always. You know that was my high school motto. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you said it. <laughs> yeah, I just know you're going to throw a G-Wagon comment. G-Wagon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so just celebrate the small ones. I think, to be honest, gratitude goes a long way. Yeah. It opens portals for new blessings when you're appreciative and the small ones that you're given. So. And it also doesn't have to look the same because I think that's like a, a common yeah. misconception. Because maybe Steph's, Steph's goal is to get that blazer from Zara. Yeah. For me, I'm just like, hey, bro, that Fuda foundation. And when you get it, I'll, make, I'll scream until... <laughs> they must know because we must yeah. be seen we must be seen yeah. so again it may look like we are successful which we don't want to say that we are not yeah but at the same time it, it's just because we're appreciating the small steps that we're making yeah in our careers. and i think something i think i once saw on twitter is that success is not really a, like a place a tea it's not to make up for that success. it's really just the journey yeah so yeah. and the story behind it as well we should also always. write a book at this point. Hey, I beg. Gems. Drop my gems. Gems. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Pass 
personally <laughs> uh because yeah, i'm five yeah, five yeah. which i think is like the average height for like most you yeah. know women and stuff so i would not at least for now maybe that will change in the future but mm-hmm. no. <laughs> amen shout out to you boo but yeah um i'm five five and i don't think i would change and i know it might sound very vain and everything because there's a video i did some time back about you know the biases that are sometimes behind dating preferences and everything oh the lashes guys oh lashes, oh, lashes. they are lashing so my answer is no that's that's just the way it is okay now my time yeah with one eyelash on <laughs> <laughs> you see what blushes do like you guys get to the program mm-hmm. um i have dated shorter guys before and maybe it's because i was in a really bad place not to, to discredit the type of people they were yeah it's just i didn't have my i didn't have like an idea of what a, the man i would want to be with mm. would look like feel mm. like mm. you know how tall would he be or whatever personality mm-hmm. wise whatever i was so young yeah because my my short my short guy stages were when i was in first year mm-hmm. or something or shortly after high school mm-hmm. um now however no honey like no i'm already five seven yeah she's tall guys I'm tall she's, fra- she's she's I'm tall i'm five seven and i still wear heels so she's like five so five nine, nine. Or six. yeah we cannot be doing five five even at that six as in it's like i'm your sugar mommy it's not gonna work for me it's not gonna do it not at all so yeah, yeah. But, but it's nothing really against like yeah but i have shorts. dated them before and it mm. just hasn't worked for me so yeah I, personally i just love them tall yeah tall as i can handle yep you got that right I got it. me like chubby guys now mm-hmm you like like dad bods oh uh, no no uh-huh. no dad bods get a bit situation is a whole different situation okay um, i like i like i like just you know we are cuddling and i feel like i'm in a blanket oh got yeah. you got you that's the best loud and clear that's the best but not necessarily <laughs> that but i don't want to look like i'm rocking with my dad's friend when i'm out in having a day. <laughs> that's it <laughs> okay. but but yes chubby and if you know me you know this is a fact yeah me and like one on us they make awesome. me so happy because i like cuddles i'm a physical touch babe so mm, that's nice yeah friend why are you looking at me we so were just talking about this idea <laughs> um show me again personally <laughs> we talked about this with step previously how unfortunately friendships these days have become so transactional it's either someone wants to get you know clout follow something but i will say that i i, I can't we, we also can't speak for like the masses of because the creative industry is really huge when you think about it yeah so for me personally i'm grateful that i always i already have like a small circle of friends and i even have like a smaller circle of like creator friends and personally i've been in an amazing space where we support each other we share each other's work tips and stuff we collab and everything so at least for myself i know i am lucky and i'm blessed to have that but i also recognize that people are very transactional in how they act they want to get something out of you and that's quite unfortunate yes that's true you know said yeah <laughs> wait are you done with makeup no oh okay that's a good thing uh, enough said <laughs> facts <Yes. laughs> no lies told <laughs> um it's very difficult to be in a space where you assume that this is it's not, it's not like the office space where yeah. you guys are doing different jobs but you're working in the same office mm-hmm. with content creation we are all recording we are all putting out information we are mm-hmm. all going for the same gigs we are all being called for the same campaigns yeah so the first instinct which is i get it's human mm-hmm. to just be like oh i'm not so sure if this person is going to be mm. looking out for me it's i get it completely but at the same time being that this is an industry that is growing at a very fast rate i feel like the only thing we should do as a country as a as a like a 
community is to support each other. Yeah. Because that will not only represent us as a country, mm. as Kenya, it will be like bringing women together, bringing creators together, bringing even ideas together and mm. putting us as a Kenyan space into the world and they will see that even uko Kenya by the way, mm. they know what they're doing. Mm. But unfortunately kwa ground we too different. Very different. We too different. So we've learned our lessons and we're not repeating the mistakes. So it is what it is. What she said. Yeah. I think people take the whole setting boundaries very surface level. Say for example, I don't appreciate when Steph says something without me telling her that I don't appreciate that. Body language that tattoo. To you know. <laughs> no, but there's some people who just can't read into stuff, okay, you know. So. so I think for sometimes when it comes to boundaries you need to be able to verbally express them. Yeah. If you can't, then I don't think you sh- we should be putting the other person at fault for not being able to. That is, yeah. if they're not able to like read body language and stuff, you know, especially for like new friendships. Because what they don't know, they can't really. Yeah, people. You know. We we. I think even as a generation, a lot of the times, even when it comes to dating, we want people to read our minds. Actually, as a woman, as, you a, as a man, spoil me. <laughs> I'm just like maybe I'm the spoiler in this relationship. Yeah. Don't know. Maybe oh. I don't mind mm. spoiling my guy or whatever, or yeah. even as a friendship. Mm. Um, and again, I think also we're both again back to the transactional mm-hmm. situation with yeah. friendships. You'll assume that just because we are friends, you can mm-hmm. step on me with the way you feel. Ah, beg, I need to tell you and call you out and be like, what you said, ABCD did not sit right with me mm-hmm. when you did this and this. And especially, and I see this so many times on over 25, and I think that's mm-hmm. why the friendship is what it is. Yeah, is because they've been able to sit down and have those difficult conversations. Yeah, and and, and instead of taking the like feedback negatively mm. they've actually sat down and with themselves individually and be like okay then maybe i should work on abcd yeah and not carry it forward because it's making this person feel like uh this mm. and if at all i want to keep them in my life then i should also make adjustments in my own life to be mm. able to accommodate them yes if, come on it's just dropping if at all if at all someone is not going to be able to do that for you then they're not your friend yeah that's unfortunate. Also, we talked about how I think also with the social media stage, people have become so familiar. There's so much over familiarity. You know, yeah. you know these people are just oversharing a lot. So I think you need to be able to determine your actual friends and acquaintances. Not everybody yes. has to be your friend. And you don't have to have many friends. Also. That's the thing, you know. Actually, inaccessibility is actually very attractive. Yeah. The mystery, you know, not, not not this mystery for you're not going to post for five years because you want to be mysterious. <laughs> not Please that one. Big. The views are going to go down. Yeah. Ask me, I'll tell you. But mm-hmm. when it comes to the information that you provide to people yeah. and the accessibility that you provide, make sure it's something that is mutually beneficial. And not in regards to what you're giving me, I'm giving you. Mm. No, it's it. We are complementing each other, yeah. not only in the friendship aspect, but also where we are in life. Yeah. And that's also another thing that I get from over 25, that they're, they're also progressing gradually with each other. Yeah. None is ahead of the other. And even if they are ahead, it's not something that, oh, by this stuff, you didn't, you don't have a jiwa code. Yeah. <laughs> and me, I have a jiwa code. Scratch that jiwa <laughs> code. Like, it's, it's, yeah. it's just, we are going to grow together. And if you need me, I got you type of thing. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping you're just able to communicate mm, yeah. and set those boundaries because I know setting those boundaries is very difficult and also be intentional yeah. about setting like me setting this boundary what does this mean for me what does this mean for our friendship how do we move from here so yeah happy boundary setting and if it doesn't work for you pray for better friends yeah God will always listen to you that's 100 and you'll find yourself in situations where you're actually being valued you're being complimented you're being loved, loved and appreciated to, and especially that listening yeah you'll find it and once you find it you will know that this is it mm. but if i tell you're having doubts in it just leave a bag we've mm. all left those friendships that are not working for us and as i was telling steph fr- life is already difficult as a human just coexisting be difficult that, as well. they need to be a safe space yeah so there you have it. Be intentional about your boundary setting. Be expressive. No one is going to read your mind, friend. That's true. Yeah. And you can't suffer in silence because of someone else who's not your mother. Enough said. Yeah. <laughs> Next. If it's not your mother, <laughs> yeah. please, I beg, respect yourself. Just be like, even you, no. You're just like, Stephanie, I cannot uh, allow this to happen again. Yes, I've taken that L today, but yeah. not again. 
Bitch, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> it's how I, I see you look at me from the mirror <laughs> what keeps me going i think my love for what i do and mm-hmm. also like the support system and family and friends there's really a lot i don't think i can be able to encompass everything but i think just passion and drive and also when you have your goals and you're ambitious okay yeah. like properly ambitious not too ambitious obviously but like healthy ambitious yes that's what keeps me going I feel like because my makeup career and my makeup my relationship with makeup is very is co- so attached to my mental health. Mm. The more I create the happier I am. Yeah. So because I've been able to realize that I'm just like see because I want to be happy let me just sit down and create. Yeah. So that's one thing. Mm-hmm. Another thing is that there's a community of women that already look up to me and are already inspired by this story. That's a story that I think we're ending, mm. but the far we have come mm. is a source of inspiration to them and that also keeps me going. Yeah. Because there's something that um, the late Kobe Bryant said mm-hmm. that greatness only comes by the effects and the impact that you have on other people. And the story that that your story and what impact it has on their lives. So it's not the amount that, um, about the money you have in your bank account. It's just how whatever you put out makes them feel in their lives mm. and in their career and mm. the changes that that in, in self like instills. It's just like okay, Stephanie did this and she came from nothing. Then why the hell am I not doing it? Yeah, type of thing. So for me, it's my mental health and it's the fact that I have you guys who have constantly just been something that yeah keeps me going and also my family. Especially my mother. Shout out to her. Yeah. She's a body. Per. <laughs> then she's she's like, what do you mean, body? <laughs> body. Gonna be nini. What did you say? Per. <laughs> body nini. <laughs> <laughs> I just say, Mama, just relax. Relax. It's a, it's a language. Mm. Banter. Mm-hmm. Next question. Steph, I think I've been starting. No? Okay. <laughs> and I felt like I was, I was seeing it coming. Yeah. I was seeing it coming. Um, because I've been there mm-hmm. and it took a while before I started getting jobs. Like I started actually getting paying jobs. It's it's unfortunate because I feel like the way other people like in the States and the UK, they have a community, they have like a, what's it called? Mm-hmm like an organization that manages influencers mm. and they have like a specific algorithm where if you have this amount of followers it's the amount of pay that you should get it's something that i think as a country we should implement therefore everyone is included because everyone has an audience but yeah. even you're at 10k oh 10k probably you think they're not people you think they wouldn't give you sales if at all mm. sales is what you're looking for if they you think they wouldn't give you like um an audience or like market they will it's just i feel like because everyone is chasing numbers Again, mm. because it's a hugely attached to the sales, mm. we, we because I also don't feel like I'm a major influencer. Mm-hmm. I feel mm. like we are not all included. Mm. But if if there's a committee or like an organization that can be created to be able to support every single person who just puts out, puts themselves out there and takes their time to put content out there, mm. then that would be hugely helpful for everyone who's taking their time and money yeah. to invest in content. Um, but I would also just encourage you to keep going because at the same time giving up is not an option mm. um keep doing it without looking at the returns without looking at um the money aspect go back to the drawing board and figure out why you're doing it in the first place and that would be a motivating factor yeah and you just find yourself in a space where people will start making themselves available to you mm. and if at all you feel like brand, brands are not approaching you take the point to approach them Mm. you find out what proposals look like ask influencers because i also went to Steph to like how does a media kit look like when i started taking content seriously because mm. i've been a makeup artist for a long time for years and i didn't really sit down and think oh i can actually influence people in the makeup industry mm. so now that i know that i was like so who can i look to and talk to to be able to get me towards making something that is professional and that mm. is detailed and she was the one who helped me with she sent literally sent me a media kit sent me a red card and i 
just created something very similar but with different themes. Yeah. But I made it work. So mm. ask. It's always free to ask. Mm. And if you're asking the right people, they will always help you. I think just to reiterate what Steph has said and maybe just to add, unfortunately there's so much these are my thoughts. There's so much gatekeeping. Yeah. And like monopolization in our industry. I mean, I I understand this is very it's common in a lot of fields. It's just that ours is so magnified yeah. because we are on social media and everything. So I do think as Steph has said, if we had like standards or committee something in place, regulations in place to be able to monitor, you know, social media content and everything and, and for creators and stuff like that. it would it would really help especially for the people who are starting out because yeah. starting out is very scary you know and then you're approached and you're like i'll do it for free yeah. when your audience in itself trusts your information and your opinion so much that they will buy whatever you put out so then in return they're making sales when yeah. you've got done something for free you've probably been taking the time to edit for free mm. you've probably bought even equipment yeah you your own money but you've in return done something for free yeah so i also think even for the creators for those of us who are already in it i do I, I sometimes feel bad when people reach out and I'm more than willing to share. And I think yeah. even there's another time I sent my media kit to someone and they were so surprised. I was like, yeah, just give me your WhatsApp or give me your email. Because I struggled and I would not wish for someone to struggle the same. So even for the creators who are probably watching this or whoever it is, I think the same way you have reached this far, extend the same hand. Grace, even yeah. And the grace as well. If anything, it, it, it does a lot for you, you know? and the person and yeah. the same thing happened to me when i was starting makeup yeah because most people are not going to help you even figure out how much you should charge that's why i was mm. here charging for the chillings and guys like <laughs> they were like <laughs> you don't find that suspicious that's suspicious honey <laughs> because yeah. no one wants to help you yeah but let me tell you something one thing about this young generation our generation of yeah. creators we are willing to help you I say it all the time. If you're told, it's just that I've not got any to mentorship, mm. which is something that I'm looking into. Yeah. But I really would love to help a community of makeup artists get their own clientele because mm. I'm not afraid of you taking my clientele. My yeah. clientele like me, not yeah. my makeup. They like Cherono. Yeah. So at a window, say me, you charge two thousand, mm. they will still come back to me one way yeah. or another. But it's just that we are we really try and hide get keep and i'm like it's a bro, hush, hush. It's, a, it's a big industry yeah there are makeup artists all over the world there is enough it's not like everyone. there was no makeup artists in juba why was i taken to juba yeah again it speaks a lot about who you are as a person mm. so if at all you need help from either me or from steph please just feel 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 free to reach, reach out. out we will help you because me, this world is all about giving yeah it's all about giving and the universe does not sleep god does not sleep amen we will help and we will receive not that that's the agenda but yeah. at the same time what you give is what you get. Yeah. Ideally, in this in, in this world, it's just like this. It's how the world works. If you yeah. give hate, you'll get hate. If you give love, you'll always receive love. So if you give information, information will come back to you. If you give opportunities, opportunities will come back to you. That's just what it is. Enough said. Enough said. We should start a book for sure. We should write a book. <laughs> and it should be called enough said. Enough, enough said. 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 Sitting on millions here. <laughs> Big big gems like this. Uh huh. We shall Next be in Bali. Question. See ya. <laughs>
Ya, zimeshuka. Zimeshuka. Eh, na zinaenda kupanda. Zinaenda kupanda. Steam panda, steam steam panda panda. Sikisha tutakuwa na mahangu. Eh, we are hydrating like nonsense. Before you leave. Sikunya maji mama, hebu kwanza. Unakunya kama maji ka kashiet. I love that way you think. Ingo utasokupaji. Inenda inenda dry cleaners immediately. Naaribu mama. Okay, so that's definitely for me. That's <laughs> <laughs> <So> next step. <laughs> um the one thing that has helped me is that I try to build a conversation because um I've never had my makeup done before but being that I was when I worked at Mac the one thing that we were taught was customer service and the impact and experience that you give someone is very impactful on how they feel about you and how they feel about the brand and whether or not they'll be coming back so I try to create conversation so I'll give an example with brides it's a it's a very general thing but you may not necessarily know the story behind their wedding and their proposal and what not so when you're doing their makeup even if it's for a child it's like how did you meet how's that going are you happy are you excited like what are you looking for about the wedding just ask questions to engage with them and find out what headspace they're in that will make them even feel less anxious around you because obviously if you're meeting for the first time you're anxious i am anxious and if you're both anxious we will both feel it and there will be an awkward silence in the room and that's that's very that's very awkward to be honest because makeup is 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 very fulfilling for any woman whatsoever getting your makeup done is fulfilling and to top it all off when you have them give them an experience that they will not forget and that will only come from conversations so try and relate um the environment that you're in to the conversation that you're going to have if it's like a birthday party just ask them are you excited about your birthday party how old are you turning what do you have planned for the next year things of that nature and you'll find them just constantly opening up to you eventually from opening up to you they will call you back for someone else find out how their parents are doing just just because at the end of the day we're also living in, in very difficult times to be honest people just sometimes just want to be asked how are you doing do you have a good day mm-hmm. um is this an escape for you is make, me doing your makeup um making you feel better are yeah. you enjoying the process is there anything you want me to change is there anything you want me to improve and that in itself makes you even as an, as an anxious person get less anxious because i also struggle with anxiety mm-hmm. and i have a, there's so many pep talks that i've had with myself before i leave the house when mm. i'm going to do a client mm. and even when i'm in the car i listen to a lot of meditation i'll do a lot of meditation and listen to a lot of podcasts to get me in a space where i'm able to accommodate someone else's feelings someone else's um conversations and like ex- life experiences or whatever without thinking of it with, uh, like personally or attaching it to myself mm. so like with I've never gotten my age I don't have a husband mm-hmm. but I would try and put myself in a space where if I was getting married mm-hmm. what type of conversation would I want to have with my makeup artist mm. what type of space and energy would I want to have around me on a wedding day and I would channel that in one way or another if it's my birthday mm. will I want vibes 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 mm. from beginning to end if I do then I will be the ones to bring the vibes and then you'll find themselves just meeting you halfway mm. somehow um but if you're anxious as a artist that energy will definitely be transferred to your client mm-hmm. and more often than not they will not call you back so try and relate and put yourself in their shoes and just create conversations and conversations are just how pe- humans relate mm. honestly it's like the basis of life mm. if you don't talk to anyone then how else are you going to survive yeah so the more you talk the more you open up the more they will open up and mm. the more they will actually get to find out who you are as a person mm-hmm. and from that the entire experience just becomes smoothless Period. what she said <laughs> yeah i just noticed i'm a very active listener you are i'm like mm-hmm. it's like a little, yeah yeah you're like mm-hmm. i hear you ah uh, for sure mm. mm-hmm. it's like you know over 25 yeah mm-hmm. 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 i'm a very active I listener love i love that it's a really good trait mama oh yeah so funny to almost said it dear mommy of a girl that i 
So I have to let me tell you I was in Juba the chick who I was seeing biggie 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 can't Can't you see? Then she said, I just want to be your freaky. Where is you? Oh, just look at her like yeah, 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 yeah. You are the queen. You are the queen. You are the queen. We died. I tell you. We are the queen. So I, I don't like seeing something that I don't know because I'm just like the way she was roasted. I cannot repeat. I cannot repeat. It's not possible. At this time. At this time. What do you think? Is it secure? Under eye? Pasha pasha It looks so nice. Thank you. Ah, so when the children said it looks nice. Mama, you know, you know, you know, you know, you look nice. Like in your way, you look nice. Like in your welcome. Sour. Somebody had to do it. Sour. Is there anything that you particularly have to say? For I have to ask me. To ask you? Hey, da 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 da. Are you a virgin? I want to have a seat. This is economy. Yes, mm. and at this time. Eh, 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 eh. What's your greatest fear? Failure. Mhm. Like in what context? Is it like failing someone or just failure? My mother. Okay. I feel like I'm I'm You know because let me just give you guys context. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> My siblings are in the corporate space. Heavy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like my brother is a pilot and my sister is an engineer. So it's just one of those things for yeah. oh no for the makeup makeup yeah. video and yeah. tell us. Yeah. So I'm constantly just trying to be sure them, you guys, this makeup is paying. Yeah. It actually does a thing. So whenever I feel like I'm slacking, that's mm. the first thing that gets me so anxious because I'm just like she just be like sinili pombe when the two should lay. Yeah. Uh, nini <laughs> you should have stayed in school. You should have just stayed in school. Mm-hmm. So I'm 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 very fearful of that. Mm-hmm. At some point in my life, I was actually not at some point in my life. Last year, yeah, I was so scared of like falling in love and being open to love. Mm. But now I'm just like I've healed and I'm just like next, ne- another one, thank another you. one. Thank you. <laughs> Let's fall in love. Like I was always so afraid because you know when your heart, you assume that yeah. a single person that will come into your life will just do the exact same thing someone else did. But yeah. imagine it's not like that. Mm-hmm. So like that actually what you think about the most is actually what will happen. Mm. So if you think about people hurting you, imagine they will hurt you. And then yeah. if you think about greatness and love and yeah. just this unrealistic like relationship and mm. that people think it's unrealistic, but actually there's so many people who are experiencing real genuine love out here. Mm-hmm. You'll get it. You will. So yeah. my fear of love has definitely or falling in love has definitely like ended. Mm-hmm. But I'm still Afraid of failing and disappointing my mom and my family. Mm. Yeah. You know when you started talking about how your sisters are in corp- I mean your siblings are like in corporate and everything. Yeah. My elder sister is an entrepreneur, so she got her own thing going on. Yeah. And then my other sister, I think we can also say she's in corporate. And then there's me who content creator. I mean, I do have a degree, no? But yeah. then the but unfortunate thing is... It? Oh, but you're using it, but not in this office. Yes. I, I was having this conversation with my sister, how I said, if I would go... You know the unfortunate thing about journalism is even when you think about journalists that are on, you know, TV, radio, majority it's of them... Video, mami, too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so, some I people were dying. Some people you are killed, and some people who are gunshotted. <laughs> Like, no, you gotta love mommy ah, too. She kills me. Mm-hmm. So the unfortunate thing is about, um, especially this degree or the <laughs> practice. <laughs> uh-huh. Majority of them don't have actually a background. Yeah. In like journalism. That's true. So those of us who are struggling in school, it's like, so what is it for, you know? Yeah. And I started noticing, especially towards my the end of you know my Finish journalism year and the lecturers were always insisting have a youtube channel start a blog start a podcast because i think they've now known that the playing ground is not even so if you can't beat them i might as well join them that's true so one I, way or another yeah. it's not in the tv yeah so you know what youtube anyway it doesn't even watch news anymore even this is on youtube now <laughs> you so know? if you're a youtube channel you don't go to the you're an ad yeah now the person who didn't want to see you can see you now yeah but yeah. I, I i do have like this dream i haven't really I, I mean i talked about it when we when i addressed the whole fenty thing on my stories but mm-hmm. this was just like a, a by the way mm-hmm. if i was ever to go into like practicing my you know what i studied in school mm-hmm. i think i would love to be like a host or something 
Like I want to get into the whole actually like kill it. Hosting space. You'd kill it. I just really don't check know it, where to check start. It. You can start with my birthday. For real? Yeah, you can. Oh no, I'm shooting like bricks for real. Uh, <laughs> so just shit my feel like the rest of the world. <laughs> okay, now I'm shooting bricks because for real. Uh-huh. How else will you will you know you can do it if you don't if I actually it? don't try it? Yeah, you can say matu mtajaribu mtajaribu kidogo we are 30. <laughs> And you're still trying. What's wrong with 30? Yeah, that is the age where like life changes <laughs> was in me. But hey. I, for the first time I actually want to celebrate my my birthday this year with yeah. people that Oh, I'm so ready I for it. With. Yeah. So we are your kwang kwang kwa people. Kwang kwang kwang. This is me. Kwang kwang. So I want to make it a big deal. So you can be the one to moderate the whole station. MC. I would like to get into that space. Where to start? You can start with birthdays, Mama. We talk about it. You're like, eh, the MC was killing it. Because yeah. is, is there a degree for MCing? See, it's just your personality. And I think you have the personality. You don't say. Shut it. Shut it. <laughs> <laughs> shut it. Um, shut I need mouth. to shut it. Shut I need it. to shut it, please. Yeah. You do. Okay. Mm-hmm. We shall, we shall, we shall, we shall converse. I have your number. You have my Now you know where I live. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Hello. Um, Your my question to yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, I've thought about it too long, Steph. I have, I have. <laughs> no, I'm very concerned. It's actually not that serious. Mm-hmm. And then she's gonna drop her ball. <laughs> what are your thoughts about moving in with your partner before marriage? Oh, for sure, I'm, I'm for it because there's um. no way I'm not gonna know how you act. No, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at you. Oh. I'm looking at you. I'm, looking at you. I'm trying to make like. <laughs> that's like actually, you, let me see your hairline. What's wrong? I can't admire you now. Okay, admire me. Okay, what is the question? Oh, yes, moving in with a partner for sure. Yeah. I, I, for one, I don't like surprises. Yeah. And I don't like the whole what surprise factor. <laughs> Haogi. Na kwa pa longa tunes kwa kuja kukuola. Hiyo ni siku la kwa kwa wiki ni siku la kuja kuola Stephen na Naoga. Ndio nangara. Amengara wasema unapenda wa mama. Okay. Mm. I I I want to know. I want to know what gives you the ache? I want to know what makes you annoyed. Are you know? a morning person? Are you a morning person? Do you like being talked to in the morning? Because yeah. me, I'm a morning person. If I will too. be good morning. And I've been around someone who's not a morning person. I'm like, nini ni mbayana we? Just bad vibes. I'm just like, she just wake up and we start doing our shit. We just start our day. You know, there are people who are not. just close the door. Get the fuck out of my house first of all, you bitch. No, there are people. There are people who I think they really need to like defrost. Yeah. Versus for me, when I wake up in the morning, it's not you know the bad boy. Because it's bad boy. Namka and the and and the enter body. Niko tu apple vibes. Niko zumba. Eh. Na 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 na. Na kuzamka kwa ridi swalo. Ama yo whispering and telling you na shout. Ama kujazi metivi metenda. So for me, I, I, I'm for it. I, I want to know. I don't want surprises. You know, so I'm for that I know. On experience. I have lived with someone. Really? I you know, I've really. never lived outside of my, even alone. I've never lived. <laughs> me, I'm in for surprise. That is the safest bet. But that's a, that's actually true. What you're saying, yeah. like that's the only way you'll know someone for who they are because eh, Milia, Nili Jua. You know, like when you're not living together, obviously. See, you're so, you're being you so get for dreams. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my baby, good morning. Good honey. morning. S- sunshine. Eh. You know, I'm just going to say, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to say, just get out. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, why are you shouting? Why are you shouting? Hi, baby. Good morning. Ah, please don't talk to me in the morning. No, I'm going to say, mom. No, I'm going to say, bro. I'm going to say, can you keep quiet? Can you keep quiet? So, yeah. You're just being lovey-dovey. So, yeah, I feel like, yes, I am also an advocate of living with your partner before. But that can only happen when you both are in a good space. Yeah. And there's been growth in the relationship. Mm. And that's why I feel like the time aspect of a relationship is also, it's like a huge factor, but it's also not a huge factor because mm. sometimes you can meet someone and you just know, yeah, and you're ready. Mm. And sometimes it will need you guys to see very different versions of each other before mm. you take that step. For sure. So I'm, I am for it. I am for it. But mm-hmm. also, it depends on you because you know, it's, that sixth sense was not given to us for nothing. 
when you know you know and the minute you know that it's not good just please don't even try and even go and sleep for a sleepover mm. end the <laughs> respect yeah. yourself yeah mm. Beach. She looks nice, babe. Mm. She looks yeah. hot like a heat or like a bomb. See, I need cream, you know. Yeah. When I came, see, I feel it, feel it quite much. Hey, there's one thing Stephanie will do for free is kill me. You're welcome. Somebody answer me. Somebody gotta do it. You know, I used to have this belief, but it was because of my previous interactions. People you share a name with, like them sex, they're always so mean. <laughs> I used to think that hey, Mr. You, Chirana, you, one lie. Yeah, one lie. I used to I think so. I can't ever think that. I told you before. I told like you, we were always in the neighborhood. I can't remember any joke. I'm gonna miss when I was irrelevant. <laughs> he was still believing in me. Um, that's the one thing I get all the time. I think, eh, you seem like such a snob. And then when you meet me, this ball of emotions. I think the first time we interacted, I was like, babe, this girl has energy for like. Like this. <laughs> so we're going to get the wave. <laughs> I'm providing. Which certain spaces, babe? Makeup obsession, I don't know. I bought it the other day. Twice. That's the joke. <laughs> See, we are drenched in setting spaces. We are, but we are looking nice. It's my girl, babe. Tuaka hot. Ka? Now the video you shall see after this. If YouTube didn't have copyright in Gayoka Pasumba, if there's a song I play, we want to give the buying. We want to do the side buying. Just the buying, not the buying. The buying. Shut up, rumble. What serious girl? I put it here for you. No. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for interacting with us and sending in your questions. If you made it to this part of the video, thank you so much. Please follow us on our socials at Stephanie Nganga mm -hmm. on all social media platforms. Period. <laughs> Stephanie Chirono. Um, see you for part two on her page. Keep it locked. So like, subscribe, and share. Bye. Bye. That's chaotic. I love it. That's a brand. You know the BBL wave. <laughs>